Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, it's going to be a short little guide uh, that explains everything but the new fishing update that was recently added to Vesteria. So I'm going to get right into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go, uh, go to Port Fidelio and head to the first like main building on the left of the uh, path. And all the way at the top there, there's going to be a little fishing shack. That's where you're going to be able to buy um, your fishing rod. Next, you want to head to Scallop Shores. And from there, um, there's going to be a little dock uh, to the right in the water. It's going to be like the first dock you see. There's going to be a fisherman at the end of it. You talk to him. He's going to give you the first luck of the sea quest. Um, when you complete the second luck of the sea quest, by the way, that's when you get the upgraded rod. Uh, just so you're aware. So you're going to want to do this quest. Uh, what I recommend doing first, though, is getting the pirate hat that's located in Shiprock Bottom in the Golden Chest. Um, that hat gives you a 5% greed. I also recommend you upgrading your um, dexterity in order to get the 14% uh, greed. And that would be dexterity level 20. So make sure you have dexterity level 20 just so you can get the, the better greed, which greed helps you get the better and rarer fish. So, anyways, on to the actual fish itself. So, fresh fish, big brown fish, and yellow puffer fish can literally be found uh -huh. anywhere. The fresh fish sell for 80 copper, big brown 80, and yellow puffer fish 500 copper. Um, the fresh fish restore 100 HP and mana, same with the big brown. And then, the yellow puffer fish is just something you're going to want to sell, and it gives you negative 500 health if you eat it. Uh, so the different fish, the ones that you have to find at specific places, the first one would be the rockfish, and it restores 250 mana, it goes for 150 copper, and it can be found in Nilgarf, Redwood Pass, Warrior Stronghold, Seaside Path, and on the actual uh, boat to the Forsaken Island itself. Next is the zebra fish. It's a uh, fish that restores 150 health and mana. It goes for 150. It can be found in Nilgarf, uh, Lenia, Enchanted Forest, and on the boat as well. Sand shark. Um, it gives a water buff when you eat it. it. Sells for 80 copper. Can be found at Port Fidelio and Shiprock Bottom. Angler fish sells for five silver, and you kind of like glow when you eat it. So, you, it's like a good thing to have if you're like in the dark sewers and you can't see shit. Just eat an angler fish and now you can see it around you. Um, this fish can be found at Shiprock Bottom, Alenia, and the Enchanted Forest. Next is the catfish. It gives 5% greed when consumed. So, I recommend, honestly, your first catfish eat while you're fishing. Just so you can get that extra greed. Uh, it can be found at the Redwood Pass and Warrior Stronghold. Next is the Mahi Mahi. It uh, gives you health regeneration when you eat it. It sells for three silver and it can be found at Port Fidelio and Scallop Shores. Uh, next is the Pebble Fish. Gives a defense buff when consumed. Uh, sells for three silver. Can be found at Redwood Pass and Warrior Stronghold. Next is Seahorse. And you basically get speed boost when you eat it. It sells for 32 silver. Can be found at Shiprock Bottom. Um, and it, it's honestly pretty good. If you're a uh, hunter or you're just really fucking slow or you want to go super fast, I recommend eating the seahorse because that speed boost is pretty fantastic. Next is the speckled fish. Um, it restores 500 mana when you eat it. Sells for 7 silver. Can be found at Alenia and the Enchanted Forest. Next is the blood fish. It gives 1,500 health when you eat it, which is pretty good. Um, it sells for 7 silver, can be found at Port Fidelio, Scallop Shores, Seaside Path. Uh, On to the two of the rarest, I would say, um, is the Vibrant Fish, which gives you a small buff to all your stats when you eat it, and it can only be found at Seaside Path. Um, and then the Hammerhead Shark, which you don't really eat. You can't really eat. I don't believe you can. It's mainly used for crafting. That sells for 50 silver, just like the Vibrant Fish. And it can also be found at Shiprock Bottom. Now on to the three hats you can actually craft. So the hats you can craft, uh, there's one for each class. There's the Wavebreaker Helmet for the Warriors. There's the Tide Hunter Mask for the Hunters. And there's the Depth Scryer Hat for the Mages. Um, so really quick stats on them. The Wavebreaker Helmet increases your critical chance by 10% giving 5 strength, and then your quick slash 
also receives a shark bite ability which makes enemies bleed over time the tide hunter mask increases your attack speed by 0.1 brings your dexterity to uh up five and it also has the ability called shark po and basically when you use your shun po a blue shark can be seen doubling the hitbox and speed um of the damage you do it's not that great but i mean depending on your class you might and how your build works you might want it uh finally the depth scryer basically it increases your intelligence by five and it gives you the ability storm surge and this makes it so your thunder call now casts multiple fire uh, thunderbolts instead of just one and it makes it really good against bosses pve and pvp i really recommend this if you are a mage dps so um how you get these hats now is for the wavebreaker helmet it will cost 30 hammerhead sharks and one guardian core and you got to talk to the guy that's standing right next to the person who you bought the fishing rod from that's how you craft all these so yeah get 30 hammerhead sharks and one guardian core and you can cast or uh, craft the wavebreaker helmet uh, for the Hunter Mask, you need 30 Hammerhead Sharks and 1 Ruby Stinger. And for the Depth Scryer Hat, you need 30 Hammerhead Sharks and 1 Spider Fang. So anyways guys, if this guide helped you out, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe for more. I do a lot of Asteria guides and there's going to be a lot more coming. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.